Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Alright guys, so today we're going to be going over how to set up your Surface tablet. I'm just going to try to go step by step. I know this is a new operating system, so it should be, um, you know, uh, we're just going to try to get through this together. And uh, well, first thing I'm noticing, it's actually very shiny. It's supposed to be like super non-reflective, but I'm guessing uh, it'll be once the brightness is turned up. So first of all, you're just going to select your language, which is, of course, me is English. So I'm just going to do that. Then I'm going to agree, agree to the terms and conditions. And then we're going to start off with personalization, which I'm going to choose the color that I want. And then I'm going to name this. And the keyboard pops up. Let's see how this keyboard is. Um, Usually, just so you know, on these you can't usually do spaces, so that's what I'm guessing. That I can't do a space. Then I'm going to connect to my Wi-Fi connection, Gummy Ship, and I'm going to enter in my password. Of course, I might have to hide this from you guys, so I'm just gonna. I'll be right back. All right, and then that we put that in. We're just gonna push connect and now it should connect and uh, it's gonna ask you it looks like um, if you want to go through express settings or not these are the express settings uh, highlights is that it will protect your PC it uh, turns on do not track in Internet Explorer so you're not automatically being tracked and um, it does like send things to Microsoft to help improve it and let's apps uh, content uh, personalize your stuff and turns on sharing uh, for networks on your same device. So yeah, that's the gist of it. So I'm going to go ahead and just do express settings. And so now here's the part. Um, you're going to sign in to a Hotmail account or create a new Hotmail or Outlook account. Um, so you either go right here and just write enter in your email address or at the bottom you will see places to sign up uh, for a new email address so that is it you can sign in without one but um, as it is going to tell you without it you can't download apps you can't pretty much do a lot of the things on this device so it's it's almost worthless that out that you're going to want to um, create one or sign into one so I'm going to sign in I actually just wanted you guys to see the uh, portrait keyboard for a second because I accidentally rotated it and portrait keyboard not bad I actually kind of like the way this feels and uh, one thing is uh, I, I noticed this takes more of an Android approach than an iPad approach where um, your thumbs are really able to cross all the way as you're on an iPad you're kind of like further apart that's why they do the thumbs keyboard they kind of need it Whereas, I mean, Android, it has it too, but it's not needed because it's so, it's a lot more narrow so you can easily type all the way across. But yeah, just wanted to point that out real quick. Okay, so now it's connecting to my Microsoft account. Um, it hasn't asked me for my password yet. I'm guessing that's the next thing. Yep, that's the next thing it's going to ask you for. So it's just going to ask you for your password on the account. And you're just going to enter that in. It should sign you right in. And it's going to ask you uh, for account security information. So it's going to ask you to put in either a telephone number or an alternative email address just in case um, you ever uh, get your device stolen or you forget your email password or anything like that. And now it's creating an account. And yeah, if you did see the unboxing, it's an interesting weight. It doesn't feel too heavy, but I feel like I couldn't hold it for a long period of time. But 
I mean, that is what the kick built-in kickstand is for, is that so you don't hold it for a long time, that you just leave it there. Um, it, it, it is heavier than most tablets. Uh, I would say it should probably be heavier than even the iPad, which I honestly don't know how people can hold the new iPad for a long time. It's too damn heavy for me. Um, and it's telling me hi, hi. Wave hi, guys. Wave hi. Okay. So, um, yeah, it's just... Um, looks like it's going to talk to us about how to use Windows. Um, so it's pretty cool that it does an introductory for you guys, uh, just so you guys can learn how. Swiping this way will bring up this menu, which is kind of like your search, your share, your start menu, which, yes guys, your start menu is a little Windows, a little Windows button that after you switch this way, it's going to be a little Windows button. So that'll be your new start menu. So. Uh, that is uh, one important thing or you can always push, just push the windows icon right here And that will take you back to the start menu. Of course, that's only on the surface tablet But uh, for windows uh, windows tablets in general you swipe right here And then you push the start and that'll take you back to that um, So it's search um, what, what was the second one I told you guys search share start menu devices devices meaning if you want to connect to other devices on the network whether it be your Xbox or another Windows uh, device on there, or if you have a network external hard drive, that would be another reason. And uh, the last one is going to be settings. So those are all the uh, things that will be right here. When you go like this, it's to switch to another app. So if you have any other apps open, you're going to be switching like this. And uh, moving up or down will basically generally do uh, things within an app. So if an app has a settings or, well not a settings, but something you can do with the app, it'll usually pop up on one of the uh, top or the bottom. So yeah, usually on the bottom more so. I think the top can also be for different things, but we'll go over the basics of uh, Windows 8 uh, RT in a bit, or another video rather. So since on the app, so you can see it can take a while, so um, be prepared for this. Um, if it takes too much longer, I'll just end the video. But um, yeah, guys, that's how you set up the Windows uh, Surface tablet or uh, Windows 8 RT in general. Um, if you guys do have any questions or anything like that, hopefully this was helpful. I, I have had um, people that seemed very worried about this, so that was how simple it was to set up. It wasn't that hard. It, um, you guys should be able to do it just fine. It's, it's not that hard. Um, if you guys do have any questions, you can feel free to ask. So. And this seems like it's taking a while, a little while, so I'm just going to end the video on here. But if you guys do have any questions, uh, feel free to ask. I'm guessing this will take anywhere from about 5 to 10 minutes. So just so you guys are prepared for that, it'll take a little while. You know, go make yourself a cup of coffee, sandwich, you know, make me one too. Um, whatever it is, uh, just kill some time. All right, guys, if you have any questions, again, uh, don't hesitate to ask. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy.